Personally, I feel that there are very few game series that have come out in the last couple generations that truly qualify as iconic. But in my opinion, one that in fact does is Halo. In 2010, Ed Freese, who was a former VP of game publishing with Microsoft, created a game inspired by that iconic series, which is not much of a surprise, but the fact that he did it on the 2600, that's kind of a different story. From what I understand, Ed's reasoning behind creating a game for a console that is so primitive is because he felt the restraint of having such little power to work with would help fuel his creativity. And if you ask me, I think he did an amazing job with what he had to work with. The game has a great look and despite the limited graphics, you can clearly identify Master Chief along with Covenant, Grunts, and Elites and among other forces that you encounter. Which is quite impressive. The gameplay is quite simple. You navigate through the screens of the game to make it to the end. Master Chief can only shoot to the left or to the right, however your adversaries are not so limited. But there are some power-ups you can obtain, including an upgraded gun which can fire faster than the first one you pick up, and boots that make you move faster as well. Shields can also be found which enable you to take an extra hit before losing a life, which is very important since it's not just the enemies which go down after getting hit once. You can also find keys to help you advance to further parts of the game. Due to the limitations of the system, there's only so much allowed at the screen at one time, so there's a few instances often before coming across a power-up where it looks like you're coming up on nine enemies, but it's really only three. I haven't really gotten very far in this game, but from what I've seen, it's very impressive. I like how the terrain changes from an outdoor setting that's blue and has trees, to an inside base with pink and magenta color schemes, to a snowy area where you slide across the ground. Really great touch. Thankfully, the binary files, or as they're more commonly referred to as ROMs, are quite easy to find online. So if you still want to play the game, doing so via emulation software is very easy to do. Personally, I've taken to running those programs on my Nintendo Wii to thanks to the excellent Homebrew Channel mod. Homebrew titles like this are getting more and more common, especially if you follow websites such as Atari Age. Atari Age actually helped Ed make this game available to the masses, which is a really great thing. Often people attempt these games where they take a series from a later console and try to bring it onto the 2600. They refer to these as demakes. I've actually seen demakes made of Mario and Sonic, which were actually quite impressive. Honestly, it's a little surprise to me that somebody would attempt to do a Halo-themed game, but the fact it was the, who it was, someone who had ties to Microsoft at the time that they acquired Bungie, that's pretty awesome if you ask me. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care. If you like what you see, feel free to check me out on social media. Otherwise, you can subscribe to this channel. I do new videos every Friday, sometimes on Wednesdays too. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care.